So I think uh, you all had a chance to go back and work on the components that we created in last session, right? The objects, tabs, apps, fields, oh, that is what we created, right? And in our last session, we were talking about, uh, you know, objects called project, clients, consultants. So let me go back to my Excel sheet. The first one that I designed there was projects. Second was clients. Hello. 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 Hey, this is Manta. Hey, Manta, tell me. Uh, actually, there is one participant in the class. I'm trying to ask him who his resource uh, recruiter is, but I didn't get her his response. So I thought of just asking him now. Shyam? Yeah. Yeah, Shyam is a participant uh, who I have allowed. Okay. Okay. Uh, can I call you on your mobile? No. I just need to talk for, for two minutes. Yeah. Yep, sure. Thank you. Thanks. While creating a new contact, you would have realized that there is a field called account. Right? And when you click on this, it takes you to the list of all the accounts from where you can select which one you want to select. Right? So this is a relationship. This is connecting this contact record with an account record. A similar kind of a setup we need here on the project. So that we can connect every project to a corresponding client to understand that which is the, what do you call this? Uh, relationship or which record is connected to which record which project has come from which client right so that is what we need to set up here so let's go into this So usually, uh, you know, this relationship can be of three types as I told you, right? One to one, one to one means one client record can be connected to only one project and one project can connect, be connected to only one client. So one client, one project can be connected, okay? One to many is many projects can be connected to one client, right? So from a client, I can get multiple projects. So that is a one to many. Okay. Many to many is a situation where multiple records from this object can be connected to multiple records of this object. Uh, many to many will be a case between projects and consultants. Let's say you have 10 consultants in your company and you have four projects in the company. Uh, one consultant can work on multiple projects, right? And in one project, you can have multiple consultants as well. So that is a kind of many-to-many -many relationship. So it's very simple. So where there is a connection, where one record can be connected only to one record from both the sides, it is a one-to-one. -one. If one record can be connected to a number of records on the other side, it's a one-to-many. If multiple records from one object can be connected to multiple records of the other object, it's a many-to-many. -many. Very simple in that case. So the most common relationship in database in case um, we have seen the you know relational database management system earlier, the most common relationship is one to many. Okay. And here also if you see client and project is a one to many relationship. One client can be connected to multiple projects. So in case you have a client, let's say Accenture is a client. So from Accenture you may get you know three four projects that way it can be there right so here we need a one to many relationship so simple things that we need to understand I think uh, you know you might be already aware of it but still uh, let me just uh, you know give you a little brief of it so whenever there is a relationship most of the times it's one to many for a one to many relationship we need to understand who is the parent and who is the child. So in this case, 
if we talk about the relationship between client and uh, project client is the parent and project is the child that is it right one client can have multiple projects so client is the parent project is the child so wherever there is a concept of relationship you need to understand which is the parent which is the child and it's very simple to understand right uh, if it's a one to many relationship and uh, you know side or the object on which one record is connected to multiple records on the other side so one record object will be parent so that is how it is now next thing how do you establish the relationship we have identified the parent and the child how do we establish the relationship in the database form create a relationship field in the child object create a relationship field in the child object as simple as that nothing else so relationship field is again a field type in the way we had date time email phone uh, url all the field types we had similarly we have another field type which is called a relationship field type okay you just need to go and create that relationship field type so relationship is being established through field that is what we see here also in account and contacts on the contact what do we have we have a field with the account name this is a look up kind of a field it will connect you to the other object so that is how simple it is so what we need to do we just need to create a relationship field on the child object so which is my child object here project so yesterday we created project and client both the objects so i already have this object i need to go and create a relationship field there let's go and create it's pretty simple just go to setup create objects new custom object no why new custom object we should uh, go to the existing object right which is the existing object project so we need to create a field on this object go to the see custom fields and relationship so just click on new when you try to create a new field you see there are two relationship options look up relationship and master detail relationship okay two relationship fields are available you will have to select one of these okay now how do you decide which one you have to select there are two relationship field types which are available one is lookup one is master detail now which one to select that is something that you have to decide so to decide that we have to understand what is the difference between these two okay so let me just give you the difference between these two these are the names lookup and master detail let's understand what are the differences in lookup relationship 
relationship 